Hair is made from keratin, the same material that makes our nails and skin. It's one of the toughest materials in our body. In fact, all the hairs on our head are strong enough to support the weight of two elephants. Above our skin, the hair has no living cells, but deep inside the hair follicle, the base of the hair is alive. Here, blood vessels transport nutrients so new hairs can form. Normally, each hair grows for between two and eight years before it falls out and is replaced by a new one. Our chromosomes are inside every cell of our body. These hold thousands of genes that tell our bodies how to develop and function. Scientists have now discovered many genes that are linked to baldness, and one of these is passed down from your mother. But it's not just men that can inherit baldness, and today, 5% of hair transplants are carried out on women. As testosterone enters the scalp, it is converted to the chemical DHT, which locks onto receptors on the hair follicles. Ollie has more receptors on his hair follicles than men who don't go bald. For reasons not known, the DHT triggers his hair follicles to shrink. As they get smaller, they produce weaker, shorter hairs. Within a few years, these have shrunk so much they are barely visible. But the hair at the back of Ollie's head doesn't have this problem. So these hair follicles will be implanted, one by one, in the bald patches.